Hi, this is Jill from Simply Organized, and I'd like to share with you today some last minute gift ideas, um, ideas that don't add clutter per se to someone's life because we all have a lot of stuff, right? So maybe you wanna be conscious of that and give some gifts that don't um, stick around or that they have to find a space for in the long term. So my first gift idea is one of my favorites. It's an amaryllis kit, and you can find this sometimes even at Target, but most often garden centers, but they can be anywhere, even staples sometimes. Don't quote me on that, but they're in a lot of locations. So what this is, is it's a kit that includes the soil, the pot, the bulb, and after um, your recipient plants it, in about six to eight weeks, you get this really cool, huge, bouquet of flowers so it's a lot of fun and then when it's done they can toss it and then give the pot away or use it for something else or give it to goodwill whatever so it's not really going to stick around another gift idea is one that i've um, done for family members it's called a jar of love and inside the jar are slips of paper and each slip of paper has a different thing you love about that person written on it so it's really cool to receive. Uh, you just feel really great when you receive something like this, I believe, because in return, my daughter made a jar for me and a jar for my husband a couple of years ago. And as you can see, we still have it. So that sticks around, but it's something that's so sentimental and lovely um, that we don't mind having that stick around. You could also take it out of the jar, put the slips of paper, in an envelope and just keep those and then um, reuse the jar or re-gift it. So those are two ideas. Uh, another idea would be a membership to a CSA, that's a com Community Supported Agriculture. And so what that is, is they would, the recipient would get a delivery about once a week of uh, vegetables. It's most often a box of vegetables from a community farmer. So fresh vegetables in a box. So maybe that would be something um, a person on your gift list would enjoy. There's the usual um, gift cards, you know, for spa gift, spa services. But what about hair, oil changes, um, cleaning, organizing, handyman services? So kind of think outside of the box with gift certificates if you want something different. You know, the normal gift certificates for fuel, um, groceries, stores they enjoy shopping at, those are nice also. I enjoy giving people lottery tickets as stocking stuffers or just fun gifts. Uh, and who knows, maybe they'll win something and maybe they'll share it with you too if they win, if they get lucky. So lottery tickets, scratch-offs, those are really fun. I'm looking at my list off to the side. So another thing on my list is consumable gifts um, like beverages, coffee. Do you have a coffee lover? A selection of coffees, a selection of beer, wine, hot chocolate, or maybe cookies. Do you like to bake? Christmas cookies. That's what my sister wanted this year, Christmas cookies. And she also wanted some of my homemade granola. So I'm making that for her. Um, some other ideas. Let's see, what didn't I cover? I'm looking at my list here. Um, how about if they like to garden, maybe a gift card to a garden center or someone's gardening services or sharing your services with them. Are you really good? You have a certain skill that you could share with them. Maybe you enjoy gardening or organizing or even cleaning. Could you share that service with them? Give them, um, you know, uh, one-time cleaning or weed their garden bed. And then another idea is to go practical. And so by that I mean like stamps. I know that sounds like a crazy gift, but it's really practical and kind of nice. They don't have to make a trip to the post office or they don't have to go online and place that order. Another thing would be like ink for the computer, for the printer. Wouldn't that be awesome to get? Well, I don't know. Maybe you think that's not so awesome, but I would be thrilled with that gift. <laughs> One year, my dad received a ream of computer paper. You know, that's heavy to lug home from the store. He's 90 years old now, so that was a great gift for him. So those are my gift ideas that are simple, practical, uh, fun, and creative. What gift ideas do you have? I would love to hear from you in the comments. 
please share because maybe you'll inspire others by your gift ideas. I'm sure you can add to this list that I just provided. Take care and thank you for joining me.